Okay, I'm ready. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. You know what you're watching now? I this is the Jim <laughs> beer, beer review. review. I was good with that. You you went a little silly there. Well, yes, we like to have a good laugh with our friends. So, Dave, <laughs> let me tell you what we're doing today. We're reviewing Back in Black. It was a sack. <laughs> it was a sack. Time. I don't know. That it was <laughs> a sack. Yes. <laughs> what, like a ball sack? <laughs> hey, <laughs> nothing wrong. With it. Hey, hey, now. He was really bad. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to do ACDC. Um, really which bad. Which doesn't sound good either. Really bad. Anyway, I'm at the band. This is an American IPA brewed with rich dark malts, hence it's a black IPA. It is a 6.8% alcohol by volume. Ooh, ooh, they may not like this. This is 65 it's high, IBUs. It's so but we had a very balanced stout last review, so hey, maybe we'll get lucky on this one. Uh, is there anything else you can add to this, Dave, from their particular website as you have over there? Um, okay, so 65 IBU, 6.8 ABB, inspired by Paul Revere's Midnight Ride. Oh, I remember the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. I did that Inspired too. by so Paul again. Revere's Min. That didn't even look like Paul Revere on this game, but then again, I guess it does. Um, inspired by yeah, Paul Revere's. Hard. Inspired by Paul Revere's Midnight Ride. We rebelled against the British style IPA, embraced the more aggressive American version, and then recast it in bold, Sorry. brave, defiant black. Sorry. Our black IPA is a declaration of independence from the tyranny of the expected. Yes. Back in Black is our newest year round beer available now in six packs and draft, brewed like an American IPA, but with the addition of rich. Dark malts, this beer has all the flavor of a hop character you expect in a smooth, mellow finish. Now, the malts are pale, or rare, R-A-H-R, pale malt, crystal, 45 liter, Munich, D, bitter black. Flavored hops are Columbus and Centennial bitters, 6.5, like you said, alcohol content at 6.8. Color is midnight black, bitterness hops are Columbus, yeast is top for many Yale yeast. Um, uh, I don't see any any um, uh, beer. I mean, any any food um, compliments to this. But uh, I want to tell you all people that I've learned in the last uh, say couple weeks is that I, I used to not like to have canned beer because I thought, well, one uh, sometimes they the the rats in the warehouses can poop on top of these things, which not make it good. The um the I thought inside the can was was um, was metal. Which it's not. It's, it's coated with many different kinds of plastic, which I don't know exactly good either because plastic yeah. is not good for you. And the bottom, I didn't think it was dated, but apparently these are dated also. What's the date on there? Um, it says here 12, 17, 14. That's when it was bottled, I believe. Or canned in this case. Or canned, bottled, yes. So, uh, well, in my letter, the way I thought about cans before were different than the way I feel now. Yes, I'm actually uh, warming up the cans. I've had some very good beers that came out of cans. And a lot of people say that cans are 100% recyclable, which yes. I would think the bottles are also 100% recyclable, but hey, whatever. Mm. But, and they also say that, that if you have a bottle and you don't have it hanging upside down and you just have it sitting there on a shelf, that it loses beer through the uh, evaporation. All the time. I guess if you had it hanging upside down, it wouldn't do that because how are you supposed to At least to have on the side. How would you supposed to do that, though? If it's hanging upside down, how can you lose anything? I have no idea how you'd hang a beer upside down. That you is... tie a little string around it and hang it? Yeah, I have time for that, absolutely. Insane, well, let's get back man. to the beer. This is back in black, and as yes. I hold it up to the light that we have in the distance to try to get our very video a little better. I'd a little say bit it's of about... brown on the bottom. I can actually see the light through this, but it's very faint, maybe 4%. Like so this smell. is about 95% opaque. I like smell it. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's a light-colored head. It's not that dark. It's uh, very chocolatey. Mm. Yep. It's, uh, a little bit it of definitely rose has an IPA scent to it. It's well-balanced. Yeah, well, I think this is... Oh, mouth is water. That's mouth, a good sign. Yeah. You want to you wanna, you wanna give it a try here? Or? No, give me a second. Okay, go ahead. No, that's fine. We've had the hop crisis from this company before. We have had other beers from this. This is a very good company. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh. I get some bitterness on the back end there. Going down, it's got a good mouth feel, but... Mm. Well, that's interesting. 
Um, it goes down so well that when it comes back up, you still got the taste of it getting into your mouth. Right. It kind of counterbalances it. I don't know if I would say coming back up. I would say on the back end, but the aftertaste. Back, well, the aftertaste comes back up on you, but the the, the yes. taste of it, of the, of the taste, the initial taste of yeah. the mouth feel, I guess, uh, gives it a good good taste. Absolutely, not enough to kick that bitterness Oof. back down again. Yep, no, it definitely um, goes down very nicely, but definitely once you're done drinking, it's like boom, bitterness. Hello, McFly. Yeah. Mm. Like bitterness, now it's gone because I got the. It's, it was gone like a second. Yeah, it doesn't stay there too long. No, it's, it's not a lingering bitterness. No, so there's all. that. No. So in that regard, it is definitely a um, IPA. As we all know, IPAs are a little bit more on the bitter side. They're definitely more hop forward. So it's, but the malts are very black. So it's not a bad balance here. Um, I don't know if I'd run out and buy this right away, but I would certainly appreciate it with say a. Uh, Oh, wait a minute, there it comes. There comes the bitterness. It came back again. I would say this would probably go really well with some sushi. I would... Uh, with some wasabi. And I would give this sauce. good with a big, giant chunk of beef. Like steak. Mm. Like sirloin or char, char broil. Oh, but if it was beef, I'd say it'd probably have to be Cajun style. I think Cajun? Go, I like Cajun. I think if it was a spicy steak, this would go better with spicy it. Spicy steak. A spicy meat the ball. Actually, me and Dave are pretty darn hungry right now. So I'm starving. We're ready for any kind of food. Um, so, yeah, mm. um, it's not too bad. It's an interesting style. We've had black IPAs from before. Mm. I'd probably have to give this... Um, I'd give it a 7.5. Because it, because yeah, the, it went down really well. It, it came back up bad, but the, it, it balanced it, it counterbalanced it. But then a couple minutes afterwards, it creeped back on you again. Yeah. So otherwise, I, I would have probably given it an eight. I give it a seven point five. I think I'm maybe gonna give it a six point five or seven. Um, I'll say seven. I mean, I like it. I don't know if I'd rush out the buy. No, I'm gonna give it a six point five. I decided it's fine. Um, I wouldn't say it's delicious. It goes down really smoothly, but the flavor when it's going down. It doesn't have a whole lot of character. It's only in the aftertaste that you really say, oh, this is what this is. Um, but set, all right, maybe 6.75. I'm going to average it out a little bit. Right, Splatchy? Right. The beer cats are unamused by our antics. They're like, just give us food. Yeah, feed us. us. You already fed us twice. Feed us a third time, they please. They ate twice. They, ate, they had treat twice, too. They had treats also. That's absolutely correct. Mm. So there you have it. Um, if you like black IPAs, I think this would be one of the styles you like. Um, I really am starting to uh, like this uh, 21st Amendment brewery. I think they've got a lot of style. they got a lot of character. There's a lot to them. I look forward to trying their other beers in the future. And... Well, I think that's about all we have to say. Dave, anything else you want to say about the character or the taste of the beer? Like I said, I, this is one of those beers that, that are different to me because it went down so well. It's very different. That after the aftertaste comes back up, it, 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 it effectively cancels out each other. But then about two or three minutes later, the aftertaste came back again. For Dave. For me. And what's interesting is this is an IPA that Dave actually gave a higher score than I did. And that's a rare thing. Once in a while... You know, what we've had over now over two hundred different beer reviews. And I never thought in my life that I would have so many different beers. And it's been quite the learning experience. And we've learned fun. a lot about uh, things like I, I remember it took about fifty uh, beer reviews before we figured out what IBUs were. Yeah. Uh, we recently found SRM about the color. Uh, we've been trying to get into what the different hops and different malts add to the character of the beer, the different styles. Getting to know our our, our, our people at the at the breweries, at the the stores we go to, we have conversations. They we have review beers also. And we've got a couple of invitations to come down to the Brewmaster. Yeah, breweries. that so, um, sounds like fun. I we really got to do that. that. And I should contact uh, some of the guys who uh, said something about that. And, and contact we would, somebody that can actually are, film us doing Yes, we it, need a know? cameraman. Yes. Uh, so, Steve Evans, if you're watching, um, or Joel, <laughs> we'd love to have you come yes, down with us. Yes, please. That would be awesome. two cameramen. We could use two angles. Yeah, that'd be great. It would yeah. be. And they could probably have a couple beers, too, as long as they mm -hmm. hold the camera steady after that. <laughs> so, there you have it. It's a Jim and Dave beer review. We give this averaging around a seven, both of us. Yeah, between the two of us. Five. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Seven. So it's good. 7.25. Yeah, it's fine. Us, yeah. If you like the style, you really like it, we think. I would buy this. How much is it? Uh, no idea. Mm. It's a part of a swap. Oh, okay. See, if it was just like under 40, I would buy it. Oh, yeah. 
So, a quick disclaimer. The Surgeon General says that you should not drink alcohol and drive or operate heavy machinery. If you're mm-hmm. pregnant, please don't drink because mm-hmm. it has increases the risk of birth defects. Mm-hmm. If you are under 21, you shouldn't drink alcohol or watch this nonsense. And the reason we do this, we believe that you, my friends, should drink great beer. And have a good laugh or two. With your friends. Ooh, what's that? Barnacles. Hamburger. It's eating this right now. It needs 290 pounds. I had a uh, black and blue burger the other day. It was on a pretzel on Sony. Look, there he is. Look at her. Look you at know her. what? You would like this guy on YouTube because he's got an autistic son also. And he looks autistic. I know that because I have an autistic son. I assume you can see Dave. Bye, everybody. Bye, people. Cheers. We like y'all. We love y'all. You're all good people. Please like us. Please uh, oh, yeah. Follow comment us. us. Comment, follow, yeah. subscribe to our channel, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And if you like beer cats, I hope to hear from you. Yes. Say bye, Sonny's ear. Bye, Sonny's ear.